Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap of Close to My Heart, and we are here with Technique Tuesday number 22. So we had to take a little pause in today's Technique Tuesday adventure mm-hmm. because this one had to go to the dentist and get a tooth extracted. Yeah. So she's not going to be talking very mm-hmm. much. Um, you'll hear her in the video because we did record it, and then we ended up going to the dentist. So you're going to hear her talk then, but for now you just see a pretty poofy face. <laughs> We love you anyway. Okay. <laughs> so for today's technique Tuesday, we are going to be using our spray pens with re-inkers to make our own paper. So we are going to be taking our watercolor paper and we're going to be creating a paper that we're going to be using in our Make Waves um, kit of the month. So we're going to show you how we do it. We'll probably put some ink on it and stuff, but we're going to just basically show you how to put the base down for now. All right. Mm-hmm. Here we go. So you want to start off with our spray pens and you want to add some water to our spray pens about halfway. I'm just going to pull that off and then you're going to actually take our re-inkers. We're using the crystal blue for this one and you're going to put about four or five drops in here. She's being very daring doing this over our paper. One, two, three. That was five. Oops, yes, I know. A little <laughs> extra one got in there, so. That's okay. It's just going to make the color a little bit more and, intense. Right. So, and then you're going to shake it up. You can and, always put the cap back on when you yes, do Yes, you can do that. I'm going to put the cap back on the re so it doesn't. And this right here is our watercolor paper. So it is different than the white daisy. It is going to be thicker and it is going to absorb and hold the moisture better than our regular paper. It is made for paper and it is made not to curl as much. Right, and we are working on our- All purpose mat. All purpose mat, yes. Because it will be easier to clean up. So when you're using the spray pen, you don't wanna be right down on your paper. You wanna be about eight or 12 inches above it. And then you just wanna spray, whoops, I sprayed the table. (laughs) Don't spray the table. And you can do it as much or as little as you want. And I'm doing fast bursts on here, so it gets sprayed out a little bit. If you do like short little ones, you get those dots, if you could see those. And you can see the paper curling slightly, that is okay. It's gonna happen, it is moisture. I'm gonna add some of our Gold Rush to another spray pen. So if you wanted, you could use just this as well. You can use these as photo mats, you can use them as background paper, which we will be doing in our kit of the month. And I'm putting... Hint, hint, wink, wink. Yes, so I put about five drops of the Gold Rush in some water, as you could see, and now I'm gonna put the top on so it doesn't... And you'll see, if you put um, just a couple of drops in, it would be much lighter. And if you want the color to be deeper, you'll add a few more drops to it. And you could do that as well. She's gonna spray this, and let's say she didn't think the spray was dark enough, she can go back and add a few more. Like, look, the spray is definitely not dark enough. Yes, the spray is definitely not dark enough on here. I don't know if you here. can even see it on here. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Okay, so I'm she's gonna, gonna add, add like three more drops to that and see. So it's, it's a matter of. Uh, personal preference. Personal preference and testing it out to see what works, so. Yeah, there that, we go. That you could see. So we are using this for our Make Waves. It is a very, very fun color palette. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of blues and pinks and purples, but they also do throw the Gold Rush in there for the mermaid's hairs. Yes. So we are playing with the Gold Rush and the Crystal Blue or Glacier. But this is our paper, and we will show you a picture of it when it is dry. And that is Technique Tuesday. Thanks for watching. She's still numb. I still. <laughs> I could just poke her face and nothing. Oh, poke her face. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for watching. And we will be back next week with another Technique Tuesday. We hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or feel free to message us on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And that's it. See you next Tuesday.
This was all. <laughs> how this whole episode's gonna go. Droopy. <laughs> Smile. Droopy. <Stop> <laughs> She's so numb. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> she just. Ooh. She just had a tooth pulled. <laughs> yep, this is our Tuesday. Good job, Mama. It's going in our outtakes. <laughs> what got pulled out with your tooth? My brains. <laughs>